Jacob and Michael wanted to see who would hit the ground first if they fell from a height in a vacuum. Jacob has a mass of 4 kilograms, and Michael has a mass of 2 kilograms. They ended up not being able to fit inside the vacuum, so instead they decided to make a science video. Hello, I'm Jacob. And I'm Michael. And I'm Dominic. Today we're going to explore what happens when two objects of different masses are dropped at the same time. This concept goes back to the late 1500s, when Galileo Galilei took his students to the Leaning Tower of Pisa and dropped two cannonballs of different sizes off the top of the tower. Galileo theorized that the time of descent would be independent of the mass of the object, and sure enough, the cannonballs hit the ground at the same time. And thereby it proved the mass of the objects was the same, right? Something like that. We thought today we would replicate Galileo's experiment to see if medieval knowledge stands the test of time. During freefall on Earth, we have to take air resistance, which is the friction of air against the object, into account. To eliminate this variable, we are going to drop two identical containers with two objects of different masses inside. We're going to put something heavy in the first one, say, a few of these rocks. Now to find something light to put in the next one. What weighs less than rocks? Apples. Very small rocks? A duck! Exactly. Who are you so wise in the ways of science? I'm Jacob. Let's go drop some containers. Alright, Jacob has made it up to the roof of the building and is about to drop the containers. Three, two, one. As you can see from the video, the two objects hit the ground at basically the same time. Any slight discrepancy can be attributed to experimental error. Did you know this experiment was also replicated on the moon? During the Apollo 15 mission in 1971, Commander David Scott took a hammer and a feather and dropped them from the same at the same time on the moon, which has no atmosphere, so uh, it's a perfect vacuum. Let's watch this clip and see the results. Well, in my left hand, I have a, a feather. In my right hand, a hammer. And I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon. And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. Uh, the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon, and I'll uh, drop the two of them here, and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? That proves that Mr. Galileo was correct in his findings. What do you know? They hit the ground at the same time, which proves that the mass has no effect on the time of descent. The equation for freefall is given as S, which is the position, is equal to 1 over 2, 1 half, g t squared. g is the gravitational constant, and t is time. The mass is m. As you can see, m is not in the equation. Hence, the mass does not affect the time of descent. Thanks to Galileo and his experiment, we now know the mass is irrelevant. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you learned some physics today. Tune in next time for another thrilling science video where we try even harder to get inside of a vacuum. A little butter goes a long way.